brain games as uh, we do in the One, two, three. Yeah. Oh! Hi, my name's Mike, I'm the Wolf Keeper and Site Manager at the UK Wolf Conservation Trust. We're about to feed some wolves, why don't you come in and see what happens. Today we're feeding the wolves beef, chicken and paunch. Um, we do feed the wolves five or six days a week. One of the things that we make sure we do is give them the starve days. In the wild, wolves don't eat every day of the week. In fact, they'd be lucky to eat every week. Usually you find they kill a deer maybe once every five or six days. Uh, wolves can go up to about 18 days on empty stomach without food. Uh, paunch you may know as when it's washed it's the skin around a haggis but what paunch actually is it's the ruminant stomach of a sheep this is full of essential fatty acids and really good sort of nutrition for the wolves um, it weighs quite a lot and it smells quite awful so what we tend to do is chop it up into little pieces Nuka. A wolf has a bite power that's about two to three times that of a pit bull. And the reason why they have this is these guys have to bring down much larger prey than they are. Most predators actually hunt smaller prey than them. So big tigers will take out small deer, for example. Wolves work together to bring down much larger prey items. Having that big bite power means they can hang on to the animal, tear bits off of it, and actually bite through the bones when it's dead. Now, to give you an idea, it takes about 1,100 pounds per square inch to crush a bowling ball. These guys have over 1,600 pounds per square inch.